Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video you'll learn how to set and filter by the status of a work queue item. You'll see how to set the status of a work queue item, filter by the status of a work queue item and route a case according to its work queue item status. Each work queue item can have a status, which can be used as a method of recording what work has been completed so far on that case. This can be useful when working exceptions, as an item's status can tell you what work is still outstanding and needs to be completed. Item statuses can also be useful for management information to easily see how far a case has been worked. Here are some examples of statuses that could be set in a work queue item. So if a digital worker is working an item with a status of 04 work step C, the process could skip over all of the previous steps, as we know these have already been completed. Likewise, if you're given an exception to manually complete, knowing that the status is 04 work step C, allows the item to be manually worked from that point onwards. Firstly, let's look at how to set the status for a work queue item. This is done with an action stage. Add an action stage into your process flow. Open the action stage properties window and select the internal business objects work queues from the business object list. Then select update status from the actions list. Set the status input parameter to be the status that you want to update the work queue item with. Then set the item ID input parameter to be the item ID for the work queue item you wish to assign a status change. Click OK. Now let's talk about using a work queue item's status to filter or route a process. Here in the control room, you can see that I have a number of pending work queue items. Each shows the current status of the work completed so far, and the lists can be filtered if required. Your process could be configured to use the item status to ensure steps within your process that have already been completed are not repeated. To use the item status, simply add a choice stage to your process that checks the item status so that any steps that have already been completed for that item can be skipped. Remember that item status can be returned as an output from the get next item action. So in this example, the get next item action returns an item's status. And the choice stage routes the process according to that item's status. Thank you for watching this video on how to use and filter by the status of a work queue item. During this video, you've seen how to set the status of a work queue item, filter by the status of a work queue item, and route a case according to its work queue item status. If you want to learn more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Or visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions. Again, there's a link in the description below.